All right, all right. Let's do it, guys. It's Tuesday. I know that we typically do like a, a live stream on, well, actually like a training session on Tuesdays. But, you know, let's do something different. Let's just play some games. It's the end of the year. So why not? Now, let me know in the chat if you can hear me well and we can get started. Let me see. Okay, perfect. And I think we're good to go. All right, my friend, I sent you a, okay, let me see. All right, so I think we're good to go. Let me just play sounds, save. All right, and we're going straight to it. Let me just make sure I don't get checkmated. So I'm playing, we're playing 5-5 five five on the first game. Hey, hey. <laughs> Perfect, perfect. Welcome, guys. Welcome. And happy holidays to everyone. All right, so London system, apparently. All good, all good. Just, uh, you know, just relaxing, enjoying this time of the year. <laughs> well, uh, guys, it's just going to be... I'm going, I'm going to be just accepting challenges here on chess.com. So just uh, send me a challenge. You can see my username somewhere here. So I just send uh, the challenge and we should be good to go. All right, let me go D5. You got it, you got it. I was waiting, I was waiting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. It shouldn't be a problem. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And same to you. Happy New Year. I hope that you accomplished everything you wanted this year and that the next one comes even better. Perfect. Are you, is it the class that I think it is? <laughs> and all right, so this one is straight. If you remember, I shared a game I played in one of my tournaments recently and I got something exactly like this. Now, let me just go bishop g4. Hey, hey. <laughs> Take a guess. What do you think? What do you think? Ah, okay, okay. No, still good. Still good. <laughs> So we chop this off then. Now, all of you um, remember, we have to guys um, treat our opponents as if, as if they were the world champion. Like I see my opponent has 651. We know that we've gotten destroyed by lower rated opponents. So we have to treat them as if they, as if they are Magnus Castle. So we have to play our best. Every time, try to do our best move. Don't get ahead of ourselves. Okay, like this seven maybe, no. Okay, just let me just activate my pieces. If I don't know what to do, I just think which of my pieces can I improve, right? <laughs> all right, all right, so. Don't forget, guys, the, if you're following the lessons in order, well, if you're following the lessons, make sure you follow them in order and try to do a lot of tactics, play games, play, play, play tactics, and then you keep acquiring knowledge as you go through the course, okay? All right, so is there anything interesting here for us? Well, not really. C5. Right, let me just play E6. Maybe we play c5. So I'm thinking my opponent has so many pieces already on the king side. Maybe we just play on the queen side. Let's see. Hello, hello. Saludos, Mexico. Mexico, visité cuando fue, creo hace como dos años. Y genial, genial. That's really high, actually. That's really high. That's really high. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so do we do C5 before they do C5? Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Woof! Well, congrats, congrats. And look, guys, I always tell you the openings are not that important. If you get that result, it's because you're definitely putting in the work. You're training, your tactics, your middle game, your end game. But anyhow, thanks for the feedback and congrats, congrats. Thank you guys, thank you. Yeah guys, and uh, the peers, the Kings Indian Defense, these are just systems that are uh, easy to implement, but as you get stronger, you can add more openings to your repertoire. Doesn't mean you need to replace what you have, but just add more and more. Grand Prix, you mean like uh, Bishop C4 and F4? Uh, if they do E4, Knight C3, Bishop C4, F4. Um, I think we have talked about it, but nothing official. You're right, but it shouldn't be that. Shouldn't be that tricky. Shouldn't be that tricky. This exact position? Well, let me know if you won or lost, please. <laughs> if you were black. Um, hmm. Now, I really like this. I really like this. Mm -hmm. Right, let's give it a try. Let's see if we can act on this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, no, we have to. We have to. We have to. I know I know who recommended that. <laughs> and, you know, I have never really put a lot of... I've gotten that position. And if you have a good foundation already, you understand the system, you should be able to deal with setups like that one. But I know it could be a little bit tricky. So probably we have to. Probably we have to. Well, guys, in the description of every video on YouTube, you're going to see my book recommendations. And there's one about the, the Pierce defense. I don't know if it's the best, but it's definitely a good one. So give it a try. You don't need to know, like with any other opening, like many people tell me, oh, should I learn the Sicilian if I'm 1500, if I'm 1600? Well, with openings, you don't have to pretend to know everything about it. Just get started, get to know the first few moves, play a few games with it, get a feeling for it. Only then you commit more time to it because you don't want to invest a lot of time and energy and then, you know what, I don't, I don't like it and, and so on. Just give it a try. And also, as you play, when you review the theory after, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, I got this possession and I got destroyed or I got this and that and it's easier to, to remember as well. All right, guys, let's get out the way. Now, should I go to A6 or C6? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go to a6 simply because I continue to put pressure on white's pawn, especially that a2 pawn is an isolated pawn, so why not? Now, this knight, I don't like it for white, so maybe we could create something quickly. This knight is not gonna have it easy to incorporate itself into the, the attack. I like my rook on the defile. Okay, so let's see if we can do something about this. <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right, and I like the idea I was controlling E4. Maybe you're right, but then I, I was like, let me keep an eye out on, on this pawn. We never know. Now this bishop, I, I would dare to say, is better than my bishop, so let's trade it. And then let's see if we can work on those hanging pawns. Guys, we've talked about hanging pawns. Here on chess.com, there's a course that I created that we talk about punishing certain pawn structures, right? Well, we talked about ice, uh, hanging pawns, and we have also talked about it in our course on YouTube. So let's see. Let's see if White knows what they're doing. Hanging pawns. <laughs> Mm 
Yeah, guys, remember, against the perk, not many people or peers, not many people are familiar with it. So they're going to play something standard. And just know if it's not one of the main systems that we have talked about, they shouldn't be that dangerous. So just continue with the same philosophy. That's why these systems, we just need to know the main ideas. That's it. So if they play D3, E4, F4, I'm already thinking, okay, do I want to strike the center on E5? Do I want to play Bishop G4 first, pinning it? Or do I want to play C5? And it's more like a Sicilian sort of structure. So those are the little things to, to talk about. All right, so... Okay, let me just go... Knight B6. So already we want to put pressure on the hanging pawns to provoke the advancement of those pawns. Once they advance, we have weak squares in front of it. Like if this one goes to C5, we want to land on D5 and so on. But we need to put pressure on them. When it's hard to or difficult to defend, they're going to have to advance them. So let's see. Also, we got to be careful not to get checkmated with that queen and knight. No, nah, no, nah, it's the end of the year. You know, we get lazy. Like, I, I thought maybe we should because when we get this lazy, we should push ourselves. But I'm like, let's just relax. It's the end of the year. Uh, let's just play. <laughs> Yeah, 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 he actually, um, he, ha he actually has many, many good videos, very good videos. Whoop. Uh, yeah, you see, that's something to be careful with. <laughs> cha, cha, cha. Okay, so we have to consider it. We cannot just go with our plan, ignoring what our opponent has in, in store. <laughs> too bad, too bad. Ah, oh, come on, I don't have my iPad here. Okay, so this is just fork. All right, guys, let me go ahead and let me see if I can. Ah, oh, come on. No, actually, I can't, can I? It had been a long time since we had those friends of the channel. Uh, wait. Okay, so I'm gonna get the rook. And now this should be pretty easy. Uh, hmm. Okay, what's the easiest way to convert? Okay, maybe this is unnecessary, but let's see if we can restrict that knight. Do you eat tactics or do tactics eat you? <laughs> All right, so let me see. Take, take, take. Let me just go rook d7. Keeping it simple, defend and attack at the same time. Where's that knight going? Should we keep him away? I like the idea of keeping the knight away, or maybe not. Now, let me just double up. 94. No, I don't think he had 94, actually. Um, if he had done 94, I was going to do knight c4, fork. If he would go check, I go king h8. We're gonna look into it. I think he had nothing, but we're gonna look into it. We're going to look into it. All right. Yeah, because the thing is the last stream, I, I was using a different version of the software that I use, and it was not good. It was just not good. So I had to go to the guy who sold it to me, just give him a few slaps in the face. No. <laughs> And guys, I think this should be easy to control. I don't think they have anything as long as we keep their counterplay on the control. Knight f4, yeah. Here I was ready to just take on c5, mate. They said not today. Uh, g5, I don't think it's necessary. B6 is interesting. B6 is interesting, actually. So b6, rook c1. Queen d5. Okay, six. Okay, let me play g5. <laughs> yeah, it, remind, it reminded me of my... We used to have a TV that was so old, and the only way that it would work is if you just... <laughs> if you hit him a little bit, uh, then it would start to work all of a sudden. All right, b6. Or maybe b5. No, 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 no. Hmm. 
<laughs> Maybe a four? Do we go and checkmate that? Let's do it. Okay, now this is just simplification. Let's try to break this down. Okay. Hmm. Now my opponent is playing fast and don't forget that there's increment. So he could just slow down again. He has over 20 seconds. Ah, yeah, E5, E5, you're right, you're right. <laughs> you're right. Ed, how is it going with the... Uh, Accelerated Dragon. Okay, so let me see. What am I missing here? Okay, F3 was just played. Okay, now I'm going to keep it simple. I'm not going to get fancy. Just promote my pawn. That's it. This knight, I don't see it getting back into it anytime soon. Okay, so... Mm, okay, this is check. So we could take the knight, but... There's no need to play fast. Alright guys, we got that one. Now, let me take a look quickly at... Let me see. Game review. Because that, that line with 94, I was confident it was safe for me, but hey, I might be, I might be wrong, which is usually the case. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Was before. Let me see. King G7. Okay. C5. Knight C4. Okay. So here, if 94, I was going to take on C4. Let me see if I'm. Oh, even 97. Actually, 97 seems to be the move. Now, was 94 safe? No, it was not safe. So this is good. I guess. I don't know if this is what, what you meant at this point in the game. But I was actually planning for this. Now. King H8, this is what I calculated. And then Queen G5. Oof. So you could take the Rook, and then you're in trouble. So I guess King G7. Oof, look at that. So there you go. That's, that's for being lazy when in my calculations. Now, anyways, guys, 97 was uh, good enough, but I didn't even consider 97. So not good, not good. All right, let me go to the next one. Let me close here. Okay, my next opponent, and okay, so I'm black pieces, let's do it. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes, yes, that's, uh, that's a good call, that's a good call, that's a good call. Guys, I just, uh, you, could, you could see my username, just send me the challenge on chess.com and I'm just accepting them as they, as they arrive, okay? My what? Okay, you lost me, you lost, you lost me there. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, 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 because at the end they, they say something, right? <laughs> Nicolás, Nicolás, dímelo, ¿cuándo te cojo por acá? No, 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 no. Uh, I'm on chess.com. Just find me. Is my username. You can see it here. Um, Rob Ram. Send the challenge, and I'm just accepting them as they arrive. Okay. All right, guys. King's Indian defense. Classical variation. Well, if, if if you promise not to defeat me, yes. Now, guys, I'm accepting anyone. So whatever whatever challenge comes in, I'm just gonna accept it. All right. We have talked about this lesson 85. Ah, voy para ti, voy para ti entonces. <laughs> Guys, I'm trying to take anything less than uh, 10 minutes. So 5-5 five, five is good, less than that, because if not, it's going to take too long, okay? All right, so this, we've talked about it. We're putting pressure on E4. I've been, I've been looking for Hikaru for a long time. I haven't been successful. Please, please. <laughs> that reminded me when, when I was in Cuba that we used to go play baseball or soccer 
there was always this guy who was the owner of the of the equipment, the ball, whatever it was, and we had to let him play. So yeah, let's play, but uh, you can use my ball, but you have to let me play. So that's me. That's me right now. Okay, guys. Here, typically, when we do an IC5, it's the same thing that I told you before. We provoke this advancement, and automatically we get good outposts for our pieces. Now, here we're hitting the pawn. They should have done queen c2, knight d2. They did this instead, so we get the free pawn. We're up a pawn right now, and that's it. Now it should be way easier. <laughs> oh, yeah, look, welcome to the. Look, if. YouTube, in my, my best advice is if you're going to do YouTube, make sure you enjoy it, whatever you're doing, because it's, it's very, it's tough. If you're doing it to see if you move up quickly, or it's, it's, it's not. And nobody knows what to do. Like, forget about the different strategies. No, no, no. YouTube is going to be like that. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that if you post consistently, of course, but uh, don't look too much at the views. Just make sure that you're putting out good content. And, you, and guys, I shared a video with... Uh oh, this is this is good. Look at the bishop that we like in the Fenquero, the knight. So make sure that whatever you do, I, I, shared, I shared a video with all of the equipment that I use because the more of you guys who do stream and share your knowledge, the better. But just know it's tough. It's tough. If you really want to grow and, and, and take it to a different level, it takes time and effort. So if you take the same time and effort and energy and resources and put it into something else, you're, you're going to do great because it does take time. Hello, hello, hello. Look, just send, send the, uh, we'll, we'll take it. Just send the bill to Richard. Richard, say present, send him to your bank account and we'll take care of it, okay? Oh yeah, that pawn is a central pawn, very powerful, very powerful pawn. Two AM in India. That's that's the best time to to play chess. <laughs> no, no, not today. Not today. Maybe tomorrow. Yesterday, but today, today I'm feeling like I'm not losing against anyone. It's it's just me. It's just me. <laughs> All right, guys. Let me see. Maybe knight c three was not the right move. I was bragging so much about my bishop and. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, let me take this. Yeah, I'm just accepting challenges. And by the way, I'm not good at chess either, so don't worry. Don't worry about that part. Don't worry. I'm planning to stay here for another. Okay, uh, like hour. I know hour, hour and a half, sixty to ninety minutes. Okay, so I did go into this variation hoping that queen g5 would get me something. Let's see. Let's find out. And don't forget, we're up a pawn. So now we put pressure. If we cannot get to the king, well, I'm, I'm, also, I'm also happy with simplification. Just get to an endgame where I'm up a pawn. I'm okay with that too. I'm talking to all of you. I'm talking to all of you. <laughs> now, guys, I'm just accepting challenges. So if you see, my username should be... Here, 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 here. <laughs> Somewhere here, you send me a challenge. I already have a few uh, in queue, so I'm just accept accepting them as they come. All right, so let me see. What am I missing here?
there's probably a, a nicer way to do this, but let's see. NM, we, at least in this group, we have it as never mind. So if you see NM in front of something, it means never mind this. So in this case, never mind me. Uh, at least according to Richard's dictionary. <laughs> what are you thinking about? <laughs> what am I thinking about? F5, interesting. I don't know if it's necessary. Guys, I was looking at this. But I don't know, bishop, there's always rookie one, bishop f1. So I knew this was, this was not going to be good. So I'm thinking, let me just keep it cool. Again, I'm up a pawn. And also, if I take, they take any ideas to go in here, they go queen h3. So I need to incorporate more pieces, unless I'm missing something. <laughs> not, non, non master, non master. <laughs> Yeah, bishop e5 is interesting. We'll see. We'll see. We'll take a look. Cause if there's a stronger idea, we have to learn it. And that's why I always tell you guys: you finish your game, don't go to the next one. Review it, or go to the next one. But at the end, make sure you review every single game you play online, in person. Review it. There's always something to learn. All of you can challenge me. Not all at once, but all of you can challenge me. No, no, it's better. 400 is better because I, I have more chances to win, and that's what this is about, okay? <laughs> yeah, just send me the challenge, guys. Just chant, uh, send a challenge. That's what we're doing today. Hey, hey, what happened? What happened? I'm low on time. Oh, there's no increment. Oh, come on. I didn't hear the move come in Mistakes, mistakes, I know, mistakes, but. All right, guys, we got that one. Let me just take a look to see if my bishop f5 move made sense. Maybe there was something cooler to close this, but I just couldn't see it. All right, so we have quickly here. Now, all of this is theory. Nice c5, b4 was a blunder because they dropped the pawn, okay. Take. Nice e3, okay, not so bad. e4, not so bad. We take, that's the right way to just... Ah, look at this, guys. I knew that there had to be something nicer. And welcome to the story of my life. I think I found something cool, and then the engine says, get out of here, non-master. <laughs> so bishop h3, <sighs> beautiful move. If they take, then it comes with a check and mate. If, it does, if they push, we get the rook. Do we get the rook? Let me see. Bishop h3, rook f... Yeah, yeah. And then if they just move, then we just take. Now, let me see quickly. If they... Okay, if they do g3, do we take the rook? Yeah, yeah, we take the rook. Okay. Ooh, man. That was a beautiful move, bishop h3. Okay, mental note. g3. Yeah, bishop f5, not good. Let me see. We had bishop h3. Yeah, bishop h3, rook f2 e1, rook f2 e8. Let me see what else did we miss. Yeah, rookie seven, not good, just chop it off. And here, time pressure already, so we started to freak out. Blunder, and queen h3. All right, I gotta say, this was accident. At this point, I, I, I almost did this first. I don't know if it's, the, if, if it's the same move or not. All right, guys, anyhow, let me go to the next one. And I have it here. All right, first game with the white pieces. Let's play four. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, so we do play. Let me play not f3. Oh, yes, yes. But you see, guys, if we don't review our games, we're not going to learn. We're not going to learn uh, these things. Absolutely. 
All right, Bishop B5, let's play Rui Lopez. Good game, very good game. Well, enjoy, because soon, soon, you're gonna feel that again. It's just, it's a roller coaster. He, he did? Well, you remembered. You did remember. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, you know, when we, like, especially with my students, uh, when we start, guys, it's recommended that we start with no openings, then we look into King's Pawn openings. At least I like to do that, right? And then one of the first openings that we talk about is the Italian. Just very nice development, knight f3, bishop c4. And I have played it, but it's never been my main main opening. When I first started, I was shown, you know, the Rui Lopez, the Italian, but I just liked the scotch uh, better. Just e4, uh, uh, e5, knight f3, knight c6, and pawn to d4. It's interestingly weak. It's an interestingly weak <laughs> game. Let's take it. We're giving out the pair of bishops, but now we get to move again. Let's see if we go bishop g5, if we go bishop f4. Okay, let me take this too. e5, take takes. No. What do you mean? Send it, send it, my friend. How are you? How are you? <laughs> well, guys, if you go to video number 100, you're gonna. I talked about everything, like when I learned, how long it took me, what I did. And like I said then, I started to look into chess seriously when I was 12. I played from the age of 12 to 16. Not played, I trained uh, as much as I could. And then I never played rated tournaments until I got to the US four years later. So those four years, it was just playing for fun, training. When I got to the US, I played a few games. I'm not, not a few games. I played a few tournaments and I got there, but I was not really looking for it. I was just playing because I hadn't played in a long time. I wanted to get to play some tournaments, but I turned out to get that rating. And then they sent me the, the certificate. Hope you're enjoying it. Hope that you're enjoying it. <laughs> still don't know still don't know still don't know we go one step at a time guys one step at a time that's life okay the idea of e5 i just wanted to leave these pawns by themselves so these three pawns are not so weak they're actually controlling a lot of the center but now they look really bad this c7 and c6 so let me just take You know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get back into tournaments. Oh, no, no wait, okay, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I'm trying to, like, since I stopped playing regularly, like once a year, I feel like I wanna play, so I play like one tournament a year. But I started to play again, and I wanna, I'm, I started to train again, and I wanna play at least every other month to just stay in shape. Because if not, what happens is you go to a tournament, you haven't played in a year, you're out of shape, and you're just not gonna do well. So to answer your question, I don't do it as often anymore, but I want to get back into it, little by little. Oh yeah, well, one step at a time in every direction, like the king. <laughs> okay, rook f6, pawn takes, bishop h6, we get something similar to what we got before, or Bishop takes pawn takes, ruin the pawn structure completely. Okay, let's let's be fancy. I think this is better. But this is better because it's guaranteed that they're going to ruin the pawn structure. Here, I don't know if they just take h takes g5. Uh, guys, I'm just accepting the challenges as they come in. So there are a few already in queue, so I'm just accepting, accepting. Yeah, this is the move. H65, 
We didn't really ruin anything. Still, I mean, we ruined it, but I think this one was better. And okay, let's play on the light squares now. They don't have a light square bishop. Let's see if we can create something over here. Always careful, guys, with any discovered attack on the queen, right? So if I go something like queen d4, we gotta be careful. Hmm. Look, uh, we could play a 10 minute game if you really want to, but ideally we'll do like five, five. You could do five minutes, five second increment. And like I always say guys, probably five, five is better. After a few moves with the increment, it's gonna be probably the same amount of time or longer. And also if we get into time pressure, you have a winning position, you have the increment and you could convert. But up to you, you could do five, 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 three, two, three. Let's try not to push it too much because there are people who want to Give it a try too. The year's almost over. Really? I missed it? I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> yeah, three minutes is fine, guys. Three minutes is fine. I just need to be alert because sometimes I don't realize it and then I, I start talking and I, and I just lose some time. Okay, so queen f3. Yep. You can see in the description of this video or any video that I post, I always leave my book recommendations and you can take a look, okay? By the way, guys, there's one book that I just finished and it's been one of my favorite books so far. Let me see if I can show it to you. Uh, where, do I, where, where do I have it? Where do I have it? Well, I'll, I'll, fi I'll find it. I'll find it. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Yeah, but he's not here, so <laughs> he's not here. Okay, now my opponent is trying to be fancy, and I'm not liking that. Okay, there's no checkmate threat. You know what? I'm gonna keep taking pawns, and then we'll see what happens. Favorite GM, um, oof, you know, it's hard. It's hard to have a favorite one, but if I have to pick one, it's always the, the one that comes to mind. Like for me, since I was, I started to learn in Cuba, I had a lot of exposure to Capablanca, but the first one that comes to mind always is uh, Vladimir Kravnik. So I think that has been to me one of the, my favorite. All right, guys, we got some pawns. So I think it's good enough. Now just try, oh, oh wait, oh, no increment. I cannot forget that. You know, this bishop has been here for <laughs> this bishop has been here for too long. What's going on? Yeah, Kramnik is just it's just a different story. Mm. Alright guys, mistakes here and there, mistakes, but uh, nothing extraordinary, just put pressure on my opponent. Oh let me see Bishop F6, let me just take a look at that part. My rook f6, it looked fancy, but it was not good at all. Anyone can challenge. Anyone can challenge. Okay, so pretty bad accuracy. Let me just see that. Ah, there you go. There you have it. h6 is a mistake. There you go. You have taken with the bishop. So look, anyone who have played bishop f6 here was trying to be fancy, and, and I missed it. So it was just take. I'm guessing, oof, yes, this was... 
Yeah, unbelievable, unbelievable. Oh, look, not even... Oh, okay, okay, okay. So Queen G4 is what I thought, but Knight E4 seems to be just a killer move. <laughs> nice. All right, guys, let's go to next one. And look, this is just the challenges coming in. I'm just accepting them as they come. Okay, there we go. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks a lot for your feedback. It means a lot. And, you know, the videos, guys, I know that we are, uh, a lot of you are finding them useful, but all of these, uh, all of your comments, I have a lot of people who just are constantly sending them me messages or in the comments saying, hey, I found this new resource or I found this problem with one of the lines that you gave. And all of that is really, really important. All right, C5 or, now nah, let me just play, yeah, let me play C5, see what happens. Welcome, welcome to, welcome to my, to my life. Now look, uh, it happens, it happens, especially if you went into time pressure, a lot of those mistakes that bring the accuracy down happen in, in time, time trouble. All right, so we castle. Thank you, thank you, Logan. And here we are every, every week, my friend. So I'll be waiting for you, okay? I know you're gonna be like, next time I'm gonna get you. But anyways, thank you for being here. And let's see if I can, let me see if I can do, survive here. Okay, D5, this I'm not concerned, at least not yet. I could play H5, but no, nah, I don't feel like it. All right, let me go D5. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, of course. All right, I've really, I'm really gonna take it. No, 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 we cannot take that. So take, rook takes, pawn takes, queen takes. I really wanna take it. <laughs> well, I've been, I've been destroyed for lower rated opponents, so don't worry about it. I've been destroyed by lower rated opponents, my friend. <laughs> it looks like it, right? Guys, uh, it's this opening though, that system is popular for a reason. And you, you see it played at different levels for a reason. All right, let me see, because if we're gonna lose, we cannot let it be like this. Cha-cha-cha, cha-cha. Okay. Take, take. Let's do it. Now this is interesting because we're gonna be defending. So let's see how well we can defend this position. Knight f6 should take care of it, but they could go after it. But we go knight f. <laughs> All right, let's give this a try. Let's see how well we can defend. Defend. Cha 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 cha. Richard, I gotta give you your. Your Cuban music. Where's the Cuban music here? Where's the Cuban music? Okay, so what you should know is that to get, like for example, National Master is really easy. All you need to do is get your rating to, um, 
22 or 2250, right? You get the rating, they send you the, the title, that's it. For international master and grandmaster, you need the rating. For grandmaster, you need to get to 2500, but you also need to have norms. Norms basically is they tell you, okay, you're gonna play this nine round tournament, and this is the, ra the, the average rating or the medium, and you need to perform this. You need to do six points out of nine to get your norm. So if you get six points out of nine in this specific tournament, you get one norm. I think for GM is two norms, for IM is three norms. So you need the rating plus the norms. And of course we have people who have the rating but they don't have the norms. Some people have the norms but they don't have the rating. And that's why it's so tough, it's tough. Okay guys, initially I calculated this. Let them take knight of eight, it should be okay. But what if I just go knight of eight? What if I just go king of eight? Bishop a6 is in the air. <laughs> Cha-cha. Mm, Let's go with this. If we get checkmated, we get checkmated, but at least we tried. No, international master, three norms, I think. Last time I checked, you need three, three norms. GM, you need two norms. All right, all right, enjoy it. En enjoy it, but look forward to your losses. You need so many losses before you could improve. Lose, lose, lose. That's what's going to make you a better player. No, I'm not, I'm not. We are, we're good. We're good, my friend. We're good here. Okay, maybe it should, maybe it should be scared. <laughs> uh, okay, this should, looks like a repetition. The thing is that I think I have sufficient pieces to help me out, but you have sufficient pieces until you don't. <laughs> Feed the master, you just get 2300 rating and that's it. You made it. And that's why, like, uh, these titles that they don't require norms, they're much easier. Still tough, but much easier. Yeah, of course, guys, it has to be over the board, rated tournaments, yes. And yes, some, someone said international, you're right. You have to have those norms um, in international tournaments, meaning that you have to have tournaments where you have people from different countries. Well, Bishop A6, I think we just take it. Now all I'm thinking is liquidate. If I liquidate, they're not gonna have pieces to attack me with. Are they? Oh, bishop c8. How about this? Hmm. All right, let's bring pieces. We gotta have as, def as many defenders as they have attackers. in here. Everything is covered. Everything is defended. Is it? Okay, no increment? No, we don't have an increment. Ah. Okay, they took back fair square. Twenty seconds, not good. Okay, what happened? What happened? All right, all right. We got attacked, we defended, and then we got out of that one. Good, good. Yes, scary, and that's the thing, guys. When, sorry about this, when um, you're attacking, it's so difficult to defend for your opponent. So when a lot of my students, I was telling uh, the other day, I have a new, I had a new student, I was telling them, many of my students, when they start to go to tournaments, 
I, one of the things that I really teach them is opposite side castling attack, right? So once they have a good foundation, we talk about opposite side castling attack. So they learn to castle to the opposite side and attack, attack, attack. Because even if your attack is not that powerful, it's so difficult to find the right defensive move. So anyways, let me go to next one. And got it. So with the black pieces and let's play another E4, see how that goes. Well, it was a good game. It was a good game. I just don't know if the sacrifice was necessary. And that's something that I encounter with a lot of my students, especially the aggressive ones. They feel the need to sacrifice. And I'm always telling them, look, before you do the sacrifice, you got to ask yourself, is this necessary? Because you had a good position. Maybe put more pressure, put more pressure, then you sacrifice. Now, maybe your sacrifice was sound. You have to, that's why you have to review your games after but I felt like I have enough pieces to defend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, was that, was that? <laughs> That's a nice one. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. All right, so we take back with pawn or with knight? Let me take with pawn. <laughs> Ed, that move, bishop b5, did you, did, did it just hit you or did, did, were you preparing it? Were you building up to it? Exactly, that's the other thing. With long time, it's hard to, it's hard to find the best moves. Just send me a challenge. Just send me a challenge. Since you have a great, um, wait, what am I doing? Yeah, that's my username. And since you have a great first name, you probably are gonna be up in the queue, so you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. With the black pieces, well. I always tell, let me see, wait, there we go. So I always tell you guys, when I start working with uh, someone from scratch, the first thing they do is no openings. When we start talking about openings as black, I want them to get some experience with E5. So E4, play E5, D4, play D5. And then when we start taking openings more seriously, then I just show them the different openings. Look, this is the Carocan, this is the Sicilian, this is the French, and then they pick whatever they want. Like I always tell you, don't feel like you have to memorize everything about it. A lot of my students, they say, oh, I want to play the Karo Can, but it's maybe because we were talking about something in the middle game, but I showed them a game where Karpov played this, the Karo Can. So in their mind, they're saying, hey, Karpov won because of the Karo Can, let me play it. So they start playing it, but they all, all they know is C6, D5. That's it. And they start playing it. If they really like it, we look more into it and, and so on. Ah, okay, 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 okay. We'll do, we'll do, we'll do, we'll do. Okay, so uh, Richard, when I finish this game, I'm going to just reproduce it on the board, okay? I thought you were one of those guys. When I did the lesson on the Pierce defense, you don't know how many people were offended because I mispronounced it, which I don't care, no, but it's still amusing to see. Like people were really offended. <laughs> uh, H3, not possible. Okay, interesting. How about knight c4? <laughs> Let's do it. Now, if you remember, guys, from lesson number 52, 52, yeah, 52, 52, yeah, we had a lesson on, we started to talk about strategy and the, the weak squares, the outpost, and here I already identified the, the weak square, right? So I'm thinking if I could secure it by eliminating the knight, then I could go 93, 95, so let's see.
this first, this first, or is just queen f3? Okay, let me go queen f3. I like the idea of improving with the tempo on the queen, or maybe the other rook, we'll see. Look, you said the key word. If you're comfortable, whatever opening you, you're talking about, if you're comfortable with it, that's it. That's it. Okay, so how about rook d1? Now, let's see, if I could really get my knight to d5, that would be so great. But of course, it's not going to be so easy. No, no, it's, you know, I don't want to, I don't mean like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm way more experienced. But maybe it's just that you're not comfortable enough with that uh, with that pattern. The more you train it, the more you familiarize with it, the more you start to see it. And you know, it's not only seeing them once they're created, but trying to push to create them and also avoid them for yourself. Okay, so let me go 93, you see F5 already, D5. F5, I know they could kick us out, but still it's pretty interesting. Especially if I go 95, Bishop H3. <laughs> let me see, let me show you my, my, my shirt. You know, I was going to wear the, the Pierce defense one, but it was not, uh, it was not ready. No, no, I don't think it's case sensitive. No, no, it should pop up, it should pop up. Okay, 95. Let's do it. What? See, that's now a monster on d5. If they take us, we take back with a fork. So, and notice how, guys, c3, I mean, d4 is not a weak square. That's why I played c3, because now I can control that. So this knight doesn't really have a good, good squares, but we do. Is this mate? It looks like a nice fork, but it's actually checkmate. And again, in down to the powerful knight on d5. That's it. Guys, from the moment, let me go all the way back. Look at this. Look, look at d5. Still defended. e5. The moment they play 5 it, it's like there's a weak square. Can we exploit it every single time? No, many times we can't. But at least I'm paying attention. I have a plan. And then we try to adjust it. So let me go to next one. Alright, let's do it. Now, should we play D4? Let me play D4. We haven't played D4 yet. Okay, so Pierce defense. Hmm. Right, let me play D4. Let me transpose, see what we get. Ah, sorry. Sorry, man. All right, let me do. Wait, let me do that. Um, let me just get a few moves in, and I'm gonna open up a new a new board and do it. Okay. So I think this opponent just went over lesson 51. We talked about it. Now let me just go. Let me just go knight f3. Okay. Let me go here quickly. Uh, analysis. And sorry, guys, we're gonna go back to that game. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, three, nice c6, c3. Well, actually, if I remember, d6, you play d6, yeah, d4, cd4, cd4, bishop g4, d5, ah, uh, d5. Then, Richard, look, there's a pin on the, on the knight. You know, this is interesting because I've seen this pattern in kings, double king's pawn openings and you applied it here, man. Knight takes e5, bishop takes queen, and then boom. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, this is completely winning. 
So there you go, Richard. Now, time to do it on your own games, okay? <laughs> All right, so let me just go back to here. So they're pinning the, the knight. They want to take on e4. So let me just go bishop d3. Great game, Ed, by the way. Great game. Great, great game. F4, just uh, the Austrian approach. Nah, I'm going to keep it cool. I'm going to keep it cool. And bishop d2. <laughs> Bulgaria. You know, we, I was close to close to Bulgaria. Bulgaria. We were really close. We were in Romania, uh, and we almost we almost visited. We almost. All right. Let me just go. Hmm. Let me just go rookie one. Yeah, but you don't you don't want to give your opponents any breaks. Come on. <laughs> All right, let me just take here. <laughs> nah, you know it's it's a little bit more complex than that. And I don't know what point you are in our lessons here on YouTube, but as you. Lately, we've been lesson one that is something we've been talking a lot about that. And guys, it's, as you train more, you're going to develop your intuition to a point where whenever you get to a critical moment in the game, you're going to feel it. So right there, you start look at your candidate moves, you calculate, you compare the resulting positions, you look at also your resulting moves. But if you do that every, every single time, you're just going to run out of time and energy. So not every time, but when you do, it depends. Some lines are easier to calculate. You could go down 8, 10, 12, 15. Some are trickier. You, you have to do less. But it all comes with training. Training, training, training. All right. Now, with that said, is g4 any good? Not yet. I don't think so. Let me just go bishop c4. Well... I was, if you look at, guys, if you look at uh, video number 100, where I just, we did the, the Q&A, if you look at, next to me, there's like a, an outlet, and it's a, an European one, and someone was in the chat, in the comments, hey, I know you're in Europe because of the outlet, and yeah, we were, at that point, we were in, how, how do you call it, uh, what's the capital of, of Romania? Um, okay, so can we do now G4? Yeah, Bucharest. There you go. So uh, we were in, uh, in Bucharest for like a month now, like like probably two weeks or three weeks. Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm taking this. That's a free piece. Let me see if I have. Um, let me see if I have any pictures from from Bucharest. I mean, I think I do know. I do have them. Okay, now take with check. Take the rook. We just go back. Now, do we have? Look, we have to consider everything. You see, this is a talk, going back to what we talked about before. This is a critical moment in the game. So, I look at my candidate moves. I calculate. At least I pretend like I'm calculating. I'm just going to take here, keep it simple. Rook e3, rook g3. Yep, yep. Also, I wanted to go to f5. I wanted to go to f5 and maybe king h2, rook g1. Definitely, definitely. Now, look, going back to the, talk, the, the conversation on weak squares. f5, I want my knight to get there. I don't know. Maybe it's not necessary, but it'll be interesting. Ah, you see, blunder. Trying to be fancy, and that pawn was hanging. Okay, now simplification good for me. Mm, simplification good for me. Mm. 
Ah, time fast. Looking for my picture from my Bucharest <laughs> picture. <laughs> now, I'm trying to play fast for two because I don't have an increment, and this it would be painful to lose this game. Now, did I just lose my piece? Yes, I did. Now, be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. Well, you know what's coming, guys. You know what's coming. You know what's coming. Hello, 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 hello. Got that one. All right, let me see if I go back to Bucharest. Okay, almost there. Okay, guys, we got that one. Nothing extraordinary. Pierce defense, pretty solid. But my opponent just blundered a free bishop. And once you're up a piece, you're gonna play like a grandmaster. There's, there's no way around it. All right, let me go to the next one. And I got it. Black pieces this time. Let me catch up with you here. No, 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 I didn't. I didn't. Let me... Mm, 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 mm. Okay, I'm gonna keep going with my opening. It's been good to me, so why not? Okay, what is this? Okay, looks like another King's Indian defense. And the six. Now, are we gonna have a classical? Are we gonna have an Austrian? One? F no, no, wait. What Austrian? Classical. Uh, four pawn attack. The same ish. Now, I'm still looking for that picture of Bucharest. <laughs> so bear with me, guys. Where is this? Okay, this is okay. Almost there. Almost there. Bucharest. Where are you? Okay, Bishop G5. Uh, Bishop G5. Interesting. I think we talked about c5. Well, let's see. I'm gonna castle. See what happens. Okay, is this Bucharest yet? No, not Bucharest. Not Bucharest. Bucharest. Now c5, which we just do knight b to the seven, c6. Let me play with c6. Let me play with c6. <laughs> I have, I have, and now with the baby, you don't know how many pictures I have in here. You just have no idea. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, Okay, so queen a5, interesting. Guys, look, ideas from lesson 51, uh, per, uh, check peers. And of course, we're pinning the knight. We're hitting to take on e4. Okay, let me see. Maybe I'm closer than I think. I am. No, I'm not. Okay, let me see if this works. <laughs> yeah. No, no, just uh, just getting to know, getting to know the city. Now, let me see. I'm looking now, like the ones that I'm, I have here, they're from Croatia. So if there's anyone from Croatia, congrats, you have a beautiful country, guys. Um, what's going on? Let me see, when is this? Okay, this is made, doesn't make sense. Okay, guys. Quick trick, what is the trick? What is the move here? What should what would you do if you were the black pieces? Let me know in the chat. I already have it in my mind. In the meantime, I'm gonna find that picture for you. <laughs> At least one picture I have to have. What's going on? Okay, what do I have? Yeah. Yeah, 
resign nah not yet night nice. and take the bishop that's it guys L little trick if you play that bishop on g5 you need to be aware of it so we take and then we take on g5 Right. Now, upper piece, all I need to do is simplify the game. Keep it simple. Okay, where, when is this? It's May. Okay. This is June. Why is this not? Oh, of course. This after. Ah, okay, got it. I got your picture, guys. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. I'll develop. Well, you know, what Richard told me is that they're expensive because you could use them not only as, as chess pieces, you could use them as so many other things. Like if it's uh, too cold, you could just set a fire, multi-purpose multi pieces. That's, the, that's what he told me. <laughs> All right, let me see. it again okay I got it I got that picture for you guys now Queen G4 look I'm winning so any simplification I'm happy with that okay got it and Okay, so now I think I'm good. Now my opponent is thinking, I think I'm gonna be able to finally <laughs> share, <laughs> share that picture. Now C5, E5, what would you guys do? What would you guys do? Let me be careful not to get checkmated now. There we go. And let me find you here. Perfect. All right, guys, let me see if I can make this smaller. <laughs> now, all of a sudden, hey, how do I make it smaller? Okay, there we go. All right, guys, that's one of the famous, that's, uh, that's the Dracula, that's the Dracula uh, castle. <laughs> now you're like, is that the picture you're gonna send me? You're gonna show? Well, that's what we got, guys, that's what we got. Um, Bucharest was nice, but it's even nicer in the, I think it was brush of the, the Sinaya brush of, I think it was way, way nicer, at least, uh, at least for us. Now, with that said, let me see if I can get it out of the way. And, okay, where are you? Okay, here we go. Perfect. All right, now let's go back to chess. I think I'm not missing anything. Now, bishop a6 was interesting too. I don't need any complications. A map a piece again, simplify the game. That's it. Mm 
Ya, Bicho Pay Six. Ya, 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 ya. All right, so I'm gonna trade. After all, that's all I wanted. Mm, C5. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and nice if five. Yep. Now we've talked about this many times, guys. Once you you're up a piece, all I all I'm thinking is simplify the game, simplify the game. That's it. If I trade uh, knight for knight, bishop for bishop, rooks for rooks, I'm going to end up with an extra piece. Now my knights they're just really powerful on top of it all. No, no, guys, uh, any time control you want, just not too much time, okay? So if you do 5-5 five, five would be ideal. More than that, I know there are people waiting, so. Uh, I thought that I was here for D4. I don't know. Maybe you're right. Okay, let me see if I can activate my rook. Let me see if I can go to D4 after. Okay, now my rook, without moving the rook, it's already developed. It's open to penetrate through the open file. Okay, let me take first. And again, the Fianchetto Bishop always in the air. Simple tactics, guys. Simple, simple tactics. Okay, simplification is good for me. the easiest way to convert this right, let me just remove any square for that for that night uh our back variation no this was not our back no at least it didn't play bishop e2 and then g4 g5 let me see what's the name of it <laughs> what did they put it under no they said let me make it full screen king's indian defense signovitz variation <laughs> Um, all right, guys, let's try to close this as quickly as possible. Now, you see, when you're up a piece, you even get too confident. Ah, oh, let's close this as soon as possible. And when we're losing, we almost cry. Now, can I just... Okay, guys, so we got that one. Now, uh, bishop g5? No, I don't think so. Let me, okay, now, now you made me think. All right, let me go here just for a moment. If I go to analysis. Uh, okay, if I just do this. Bishop g7, this is already king's Indian defense, normal variation. Now, did they play bishop g5 right away? Well, let me see. Bishop g5 right away. It's a missile of variation. If knight f3 first, and then bishop g5, that would be normal variation. Okay, normal variation. <laughs> now, if they play e4, castle, bishop g5, so normal variation, bishop e2, our back variation. Okay, so I wasn't clear. I wasn't clear 100%. Now, let me go back to play and okay I got my next opponent we already played d4 last time we played white let's play four let's see how it goes Now, my, the first thing that comes to mind is 
is a is a different uh, <laughs> something else behind that 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 question. Okay, guys, let me go to the next one. My opponent said, "I'm too good for you." Let's do it. Black pieces. All right, so let me play Sicilian. Let me see. And okay, guys, any specific variation? Not that I know them all, but any specific Sicilian variation that you want to see that we should play. Like I, I play a lot of peers in Kings Indian Defense because that's what we've been using a lot in this course on YouTube. But uh, let's see if we can play some Carol King, some French, some double King's Pawn opening. Uh, it looks like no, nobody cares about the Sicilian. Okay. Okay, Dragon's uh, Sveshnikov. I can't even pronounce it, so. Uh, dragon, Dragon, Dragon. Okay, Dragon. Let me play. Okay, I didn't play D6, so let me play G6. Dragon. Time on off is really nice. It's actually very, very nice. Okay, so... The dragon, I, I did study it a lot, guys. Never made it my main weapon, but since I played the peers, this Sicilian with the Finchero was pretty attractive to me. Ed is, is already gone. Ed, Ed, it's just, uh, I wonder what Ed is doing right now. Ed, what are you doing at 4.52 Eastern Standard Time? So that should be like 10.52 for you. If you see this later, just let me know what you were doing. No, just kidding. Okay, so they castled. Um, can I play 94? Now this is, look, this 94, we have it in the peers' defense. It's a good, I don't know. Let's do it. Yes, I play it. I haven't played it in a while. And fun fact, when I play and stream at the same time, I get destroyed. <laughs> Only some people like Nakamura can do that really well. Just send the challenge, guys. You're going to see my username. No, okay. Always right here. And just send the challenge. Okay, D5, simple tactic. Um, first, first is tactics. Of course, you get a foundation. You learn your how the pieces move. You but tactics, 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 tactics. And lose many games. Lose games, tactics. That way you start getting the pattern recognition skills and, and so on. Okay, guys, we got the pair of bishops out of this and a fork. So at that point on d5 was one fork, second fork. No, but that's fine, that's fine. Uh, bishop f7, we welcome that. We open the f file. And it's okay. Actually, it should be okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, that was a nice move. There's always, there's always a move. There's always a move, guys. Okay, so we connect the rooks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, but that bishop, I, I know because we have a line in the peers where they could do that too, and we're just fine. So queen b6, any good? Well, we have no choice. Guys, there are different. There are, there are definitely exercises um, to help you with that. But the main thing you should be doing is training, training consistently. If you're actively training, you're gonna be in shape. You're not gonna be making so many blunders, and. It all comes down to tactics. Sharpen your tactic skills. That's gonna help you with all of that. Okay, and of course, um, don't play. Don't get ahead of yourself. If you have time on the clock, just think. Look at your candidate moves. Uh, analyze. Imagine the move before you play it on the board, and that's gonna help you as well. Hey, <laughs> look. The best is gonna be no openings. No openings at all. Just play chess. Six hundred. What are you talking about openings? All you need to be doing is. Controlling the center, 
develop the minor pieces, knights and bishops, castle. That's it. Do that and play chess. Yeah, that one we were expecting. Guys, we even have to consider this. I know it looks kind of intuitive, but we have to spend one second and consider it. than 5-5 five, five or less guys try, let's try to do 5-5 five, five or, or less that should be enough time to think come up with good moves look about think about strategy and but also it doesn't take so long because I know that people want to play as well hmm. I'm gonna take another pawn you know It's always 97, it's 97. What to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. Okay, I'm gonna take this pawn. If we lose, we lose. Now if we lose, at least I could say, yeah, I lost, but I was winning by a couple of pawns. So <laughs> I don't feel so bad. Take the bishop. No, 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 no. Well, I saw it the other way around. I saw queen c2. If anything, like rook 1, I'm just going to go queen e2. Okay, so that one came the other way around. Now, not only are we up a couple pawns, but one of them is passed and really close to promotion. Of course, this bishop has been really nice to us today, so it's still in the air. Let's see. No, no, no. One month? One month and you're only 550? No, no, no. Just play basketball or something else. No, no, no. no. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Guys, one month that's... Look, uh, typically... In my experience, we start to see solid progress after three, four, five months, depending on the on the person. So one month, that's, that's good. At this point, you should be just, just playing for fun. Just play, get familiarized with the board, the pieces. All right, so we get out of the way. Still, pair of bishops, pass pawn. Fork? <laughs> no, no. Fork? Uh, huh. No, they have rookie too. Let me just take. Who am I kidding? I'm here trying to pretend like I know what I'm doing, and that's not the case. I'm just gonna go back to the basics. You got it. You're more than welcome, my friend. Okay, guys, we got that one. Let me just take a look at that. Um, let me take a look at that bishop f7 move. I'm almost confident that um, it's okay. And by the way, look, there's one line. No, it's not going to let me do it. Oh, maybe it's yes. Okay, there's one line of the peers that I know I didn't mention it. But here, um, when we talked about it on lesson 69, I told you I like bishop g4, I like c6. But there's this line is the same thing. That's how we remember it. Now, bishop f7, you can see, let me see what the evaluation is. So you see it's 0 0.01. This is actually, yeah, it's roughly equal. Now, in our game, we had Sicilian, Dragon, Saint Fianchetto, Castle, and then here. 
So 94, and of course, if knight takes e4, roughly equal. Bishop f7, actually look, bishop f7, yeah, it's roughly equal. So we take, take, 94, we could play h6. Let's see what they give, yeah, h6. Yeah, this is just pretty nice now. We have the semi-open file. We should, we should be fine. All right, guys, let me go to next game. All right, we got the black pieces. That's how we do it, Richard, that's how we do it. Brilliant, if, if, if it's not a brilliant move, I just don't play it. I just don't play it. If not, yes, maybe if we're not castled, that's a different story, because then the king stays in the center, yes. Now, as you can see, this g6, knight f6 against anything, we're bringing people into our territory, we just play the same system, we make it to the middle game, then we just play chess. Okay, e4, right, let me play d6, e5, same, also don't forget we had a lesson on the king's Indian attack, which is this same setup, but uh, we're playing as the white pieces. Okay, so let me just go c6, now guys, uh, look, I've, rem I've had people here who tell me, hey, I've been trying to play with you since uh, it's been like a year and it's just that I just cannot get to play all of you. Try to come here to ask questions and try to learn from these games, but it's very likely that we're just not gonna get to play, okay? We're still working on, on doing a 24 hour stream. <laughs> that might be interesting. Okay, all of a sudden we got into a Queens in, uh, Kings Indian defense Fianchetto variation. It, it looked like an English opening, but when they played D4, this is already just a king's Indian defense. Okay, a5 is interesting. <laughs> I, I take anything, honestly. <laughs> Popular, but uh, in need. Yeah, you could play it in any planet in the universe, you're gonna be fine. Um, H6, why not? <laughs> yeah, okay, I don't want him to kick me out. By the way, you know, the first thing that came to my mind when I read Ben, you know what that means in Spanish? I mean, you spell it differently with a V instead of a B, but it sounds the same. Well, I don't know, I don't know if you saw, but I put a survey. I was, my wife and I, we were between Pirca from Pierce Defense or Siciliani and you guys voted for the one you like the most. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. We know this better than anyone, so I'm gonna do this. Yeah, Rookie 8 is thematic. Just, I should have done a long time ago. I don't know why, I don't know why. I haven't had the time. All right, you know, we should do it, but we should assign the the slots beforehand, like who's gonna be first, second, and so on, until we fill out 24 hours. <laughs> All right, there we go, rookie eight, finally. Yeah, lesson 87, guys, if you go to the YouTube channel, there's a whole playlist on the King's Indian defense, but lesson 87 specifically is against the London. Okay, so this is same pawn that they give us, is there a trick? I don't know the trick, I mean, I'm still gonna fall for it because I like that pawn. But you know, it's better to learn how these things deal with us. That's what no one. Okay, no, nothing happened. That's a pre-move. 
Are, are you saying I cannot do it? Like I'm not, I don't look healthy. <laughs> It takes time guys seriously it takes time chest takes time if not anyone would just improve the rating quickly it takes time consistency it's not that difficult but uh but it does take time right okay we got a pawn now we go simplification mode survival mode nothing else hey hey Oh yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, qu question for you guys, question for you guys. I, I get a feeling we have people of, of all ages in the chat. If you could go back now, if you could just press a button, choose what year you wanna, you could go, you wanna go back to, you press and we go back to that year. What year would that be? What year would you, would you like to go back to? Bishop, no, look, guys, I had that problem too. I was like, come on, this bishop on this queen, queen side bishop is always trouble. But one of the things that I always tell you to do is review games where other players use your openings. When I reviewed Bobby Fischer's games with the Kings Indian attack, Kings Indian defense, I would see that he would leave the bishop there, he play his game. So it, that gave me comfort. And indeed, as you play, you're gonna see that the bishop many times stays quiet, defending that diagonal, and later in the game, it comes out and that's it. All right, so queen c7, bishop d7, queen c7. 1991, I was not even born. I was born in 1992. 2015, curious to know why 2015. 2015 was a good year, okay. 1983. <laughs> Well, Amazon, when Amazon was really low. Imagine when Amazon was really low. There's a movie, we saw a movie recently, which is about this lady that she got, I got struck by a lightning or something like that, and she would never age. And she lived so many, and one of the things that she did was buy stocks from Xerox, I think, is one of those companies. So yeah, I get, I get, I get your point. Okay, can I just, how do I deal with this? I'm up a pawn, but sometimes it feels better to play down a pawn than up a pawn. Now, should I take this? I'm gonna take it. Okay, let me see, do we have increment? 1980. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Where, where are you living now? Did I drop a piece? Ah, I dropped a piece. Okay, I wanna go back to 2022 a few minutes ago, a few seconds ago, actually. Okay, that's nothing, guys. Oh, now C5, oh, come on. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Now, I mean, I could have always let go of that pawn, but, uh, I was talking, I was talking too much. <clears throat> well, I gotta tell you, for me, guys, like everything in life, uh, everything has good things and bad. For me, 2020 was actually a great year. Uh, but of course, I didn't have any family you know, suffering for co from COVID or anything like that. I know some people, they got devastated. 
But aside from that, for me, it was a great year. Uh, uh, let's just show some respect and resign, maybe. Oh no, we don't, not so much respect. Ah, what am I doing? Whatever happens. Ah, times, time, time. Okay, we, we could have, go okay, happens, it happens. All right. Mm -hmm. I got my next one and let's do it for, let's see what happens. Well, glad to hear, glad to hear. D4, nah, let's play D3. Play the King's Indian attack now with the white pieces. Let's see if we do better. There we go, we bring people into our territory. That's it, recently we had a lesson on a pretty cool plan. Let's see if we could use it now. Good game, very good game, very good game. Yes, 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 yes. Now D4, automatically, you see this square comes to mind. Okay, this is looking more like a King's Indian defense now with the white piece. A4 to prevent B5. Bring it back, bring it back. Bring the big back. Okay, the same thing. People keep giving us that e pawn for free. Are we missing something? Maybe, maybe there's new information that <laughs> that that's a good idea. I don't know. Now let's see if we don't lose this one. Well, I like it. I like it a lot. And guys, it's just a legendary opening. It's a legendary opening for a reason. I like it. I like it. I've never I've never been a default player, but there's a lot to learn from those games from playing it, and it's a great opening. Like it's just a like with everything else, you need to study it. You need to prepare it. Okay. Fork, fork, fork. Fork king in the center, tactics in the air. No, no, I don't have I don't have an institute. Like I used to um, I used to go more like to different schools like we have like small company and we go to different schools that we um, go to teach and but just for an hour or so or two hours sometimes but mo now I'm not I'm trying not to leave home too much um, and mostly I just teach privately here at home uh, okay Bishop F4 should be good F4 light okay like F4 yeah well if they are in your part of the world. Maybe they're on another part of the world and they're already, it's a different time. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. If you get people who are tired, they're gonna give us material, but we have to, to, to convert. Okay, another fork. Okay, guys, we got that one. Uh, I'm gonna take one more game, guys, and then that's been here for what? Almost two hours. So let's make this last one a good one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, why is it not taken, 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 taken? Okay, I took it. There we go. All right, let's do it. I don't know. Okay, let me just play five. Ah, you mean A? <laughs> Come on, guys, keep it professional. Keep it professional. What's going on again? Right. Now, uh, the same thing, right? Is, is it breaking up? Well, look, automatically two things come to mind. Uh, simplification is like the, 
like the underlying plan. So I'm up a pawn, I'm okay with that. But you know, I wanna see if I, if I get a chance to attack. If I get a, a chance to attack, I go for it. I keep activating my pieces. But yes, any, any opportunity to simplify, I'm going to simplify. Simplify the game. Don't overthink it. Yes, and look, we've had so many guys. Those of you who are going through the course, um, you're gonna find you're gonna find so many tips. Um, also, we have the playlist on middle game strategy. So many things. There are many tips, many exercises, and you're gonna find them as you continue with it. Don't forget the lessons on YouTube are in a specific order for a reason. So just do your tactics, play, and follow those lessons. All right, let me bring the rook to the open file. Merry Christmas, guys. Happy New Year, in case I don't see you. I uh, wish you'd be here next week anyways, but actually on Thursday. Ooh, forward. Do we have anything good? Uh, let's battle the queen first. This is chess.com. Chess.com. It almost works, but it doesn't work. <laughs> that's that's like the the last song of the of the party. Or getting destroyed. Man, can I do something about this? Well, if, look, the thing is, if you're gonna teach kids like from from scratch, like. Many of the people who work with me, like at the beginning, I was so focused looking for people who knew chess, right? Like I have a lot of, I know a lot of people who come from Cuba and they're title players, but they just don't really know how to teach chess. They, they know how to play really well, but they don't really know how to teach. So it became a challenge. And I was, okay, what do I do? And then I realized that I don't need feed the masters or grandmasters to teach how the pieces move. So I started to work with, uh, just some college to college people who knew how to play chess basics and that's it so when we started like that's all that the kids are going to be learning how the pieces move how to capture check checkmate of course for private lessons it was harder for them because when you have a private student typically we go for years right you take him to that next level and if you can you can but for tuition schools the basics you don't need to know a lot just make sure that you know the basics and you can teach it to someone really well. And to my surprise, a lot of these people who were college students who didn't know a lot of chess, they were better at teaching chess to kids than myself. Like I had, I had one that one day I went to one of the schools and the principal was like, oh, this chess uh, coach, all of the kids love him. And the guy was just singing. He was teaching the class. He was like, oh, and the rook moves up and down, side to side. And he made up songs. And, and man, the kids learned so much more than if they were learning from me or a title player. So you just gotta be objective on, about where you want to, to teach. Now, if you're teaching advanced stuff, yes, maybe you need uh, someone more experienced. But just something to keep in mind if you're looking to teach and to start and, and get some experience. All right, let's see if we can close this. Yeah, no, it is what it is, life. And now I'm gonna get checkmate, almost. Man, there's nothing for me here. Hmm. 
<laughs> I, I'm, I'm not even kidding. I'm not surprised if I just get destroyed here. This is the last game. So typically in the last game, I get destroyed. I get destroyed. I don't even know what to do. Like, I don't know what to do. No, no, that is not hanging. That is not hanging. Uh, look, we had lesson 72. We talked about how to prepare any opening. Memorize, once you have the lines, lesson 72, you're going to learn how to put it together, organize it. Then you got to repeat and repeat. I have a physical chessboard here, and I just reproduce it. I mean, nowadays you have it online already, so just reproduce it, memorize it, play it, play it. Um, and that's how you're going to learn it the, the, the most. Uh, repetition but also play your openings. That way you're not gonna forget. You make a mistake, you're not gonna forget that mistake. Okay, so what to do, what to do. Yes, understand the idea. Understand the ideas. Now, it seems like my opponent has made some mistakes here, and it seems like we should have, I should have finished it a long time ago, but I don't know. Knight d4, probably, and then knight d5. I mean, queen d5, but then f3. I was trying to do something with that diagonal, but they always have f3. But I might be just missing something. <laughs> Like I said, guys, I think openings, for, if you're at 800, openings shouldn't be that important. I, I wish all of you started with E5, E4, E5, but assuming you have that foundation already for a while, the Karo can is a very solid opening, it's a very good opening. And all I need you to do is get to the middle game. So the Karo can for certain is going to help you develop your pieces, control the center, castle, get to the middle, then tactics start. Tactics, tactics, tactics. All right, um, take. We're gonna have to win on time. There's <laughs> no choice. There's just no choice. All right, there you go. I'm gonna leave it here. We've been here already for two hours. And of course, I will see you on Thursday. Lesson 196 coming out on Saturday. And that said, thank you for being here like always. Let me see if there's any final question. Good game, good game. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you, mister. Have a good one, guys. Merry Christmas in case we don't see each other again. You got it. Happy New Year. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. And have a great week ahead of you. See you 